Hello folks, we're going to do a one video on climbing the first rung of the ladder in quant. We're going to do this for quant, LRDI and verbal. What do I mean by that? Uh, when we take mocks, we always encourage students to take mocks, take lots of them, take them early, take them early from April, from May, from June, from July, it's like a broken record. I keep saying take mocks, take mocks, take mocks, right? So the resistance to taking mocks is high and because of the fear, there's an apprehension, right? So sometimes it's just mental, sometimes it's actual. You're, you're really afraid because there's a reason to be afraid, right? So the, the, the pushback I get from students is you say take mocks, your scores will go up. Sometimes I take mocks and in some sections I don't get any marks which is euphemism for saying my score is negative and so there is no route to being confident of anything in this. I prepared for CAD for 6 months, 8 months but I take a mock exam and every now and then I have a verbal mock where I get minus 1, every now and then I have a DILR mock where I get 0, a quant mock where I get 1 or 2 and I have a no understanding of this, this spectacle of saying how do I go from 98 percentile to 98 percentile because there is a fear of zero and there is no route to a decent mark and so you are you are you are administering how to play in IPL and I am playing gully cricket type of feeling and so first of all I want to say that a lot of lot of lot of students have that at some part of their journey and it's very important to when you're feeling distressed it is important to feel sense of kinship People have cleared it, I'll also be able to clear it. Some people have crossed this mountain, I'll also be able to clear it, cross this barrier. And so everybody or not everybody, some are lucky. Many, many, many students go through this process of, I don't know where marks are going to come from. I'm not saying, how I don't know how will I find 25 marks in quant. I don't know where I will get marks. And I don't have a, I cannot go to a mock and say, confidently, I'll get five, five questions right in quant. I keep trying, I keep trying, I keep trying, finally I keep doing up and down, up and down, up and down, I waste time, I get distracted, I get stressed, item 6 questions, 4 of them are wrong, practically nothing remains, I get 2 marks. But I know that maybe this is not my level, what do I do? And so, very, very, very important, In uh, I'm going to devise one plan for quant, and not for LRDI we will do, for verbal we'll do a little while later. And so, for quant it is very important if you're not able to get off the mat, and so then, then it is super crucial to say, hey, I will figure out a mechanism to get a bunch of simple topics in the bag and say, whatever happens, anything from these topics, I will get right. Super important to say, look, percentages, pipes and systems, ratios, speed time distance, uh, some parts of proportions, mixtures, I have in my bag. I know that they, some might take more time, less time, but this bag of topics, I will get for sure. You cannot say I'll put trigonometry in there. You cannot say I'll put functions in there. You cannot say I'll, I'll be the doyen in uh, coordinate geometry. Those are trickier topics, more mathematical, more analytical, conceptually more challenging. Take the simple ones, put them in the bag. You have to say I'll take these seven topics, put them in the bag and say anything from this, I have a chance of attempting and focus on that, get them in the bag. In the next cycle, I'm going to come here again and tell you, even if you think you're the king of pipes and systems, sometimes you have to leave the pipes and systems questions because they are not worth it. I will tell you that. But that's for the next cycle. Right now, I'm going to tell you, pick six topics, put them in the bag and say, anything from these six topics, I'll get it right. Anything else, I won't even touch. If you're flirting with 0, 1, 2, the total score is 4 or 5 in a section and you don't have confidence in going beyond it, you need to consolidate. You need to put everything together and then say, I'm not going to think about 28 topics, I'm going to do 7 topics, I'm going to get these 6 questions, get them right, even if it takes 37 minutes for that, I'm very happy, I've got 6 into 3, 18 marks worth question that I've attempted, maybe one or two are wrong, that's okay, I have this in the back, let me do this time after time, and then see where that takes me, and super, super important to do that, and so, uh, if you watch, I'm very fond of sports analogies, so if you watch cricket, test match cricket, some, some, some players will practically say, my first 4 runs, I will hit in the V. First 10 deliveries, wherever I can leave, I'll leave. I'll have only one scoring zone till I get in. After I get in, I'll do different things. And so, so in that confidence boost or need for confidence boost phase, bring everything down to one simple basket of topics. So even if you look like a very juicy geometry question, leave. Consolidate the topics, put them in. And so, what are those topics? If you look at the last paper, if you look at arithmetic, and quite a few questions from arithmetic in each slot. 
and so typically 7 or 8 come from arithmetic and typically sometimes 10 out of 22 so you you will have about 7 8 questions to attempt if you pick these topics ratios mixtures averages percentages profit and loss speed time races pipe systems work time these topics if you get slightly more comfortable you can add maybe a progressions and linear equations into that right and you can build from there but kind of limiting your topic range and saying look only these i will do get onto the bandwagon and solve those six questions right mock after mock for two three mocks you can suddenly make it feel like look i've got 15 marks in the bag now i'm going to try to play for 22 23 then all the videos experts like me come and say how to go from 90th to 95th percentile 95 to 99 all those will start making sense and very often i worry because of uh, my language and the way guys like me would come and pitch that we, we we speak to an audience that's not ready and so and sometimes we intimidate people into believing that cat is not for them and, uh, that's not the case i know quite a few students who've been very successful who've got zero scores in some section in mock at some part of time in their journey quite likely in july august and so don't don't give up on this this dream and idea of cracking this exam because you're, you're you don't have a good starting step and what the best starting step for any section is to simplify simplify so dramatically that you shed all variables you don't think about what are the topics here that i like you say this whole thing i'm leaving only this i'll do simplify if you get one one confidence in arithmetic you can take that and bank it elsewhere super important to say to move away from this thing of where am i getting any marks to i have 10 marks in the bag what can i do after that and 10 marks in the bag i have where do I go after that? Right? If you look at the scores, CAT 2023, if you had 10 marks in the bag, that's 80th percentile. That 14 marks in the bag, that's 90, 90th percentile. 14 marks is 5 questions all correct. 5 questions all correct is 15 marks. 5 questions all correct is 15 marks. You cross 90, you're probably at 90.5 or 91. And right? that's your target. Very often we tend to wildly overestimate how much you have to score. 5 questions all correct. In last year's CAT, 2023's CAT, you would have been in the top 10% of people attempting this exam. And, and that's not, not easy. That clears all section cutoffs comfortably and you're in the mix for overall scores. And so, so simplify your equation, camp on arithmetic, build from there. The, the question has to, the, the whole idea becomes relevant only if the fear of, okay, where am I getting any marks take, gets taken away. The route to that, even in a paper as difficult as that, even in a paper uh, uh, as seemingly algebra heavy as last year, still arithmetic. Get arithmetic in the bag, get 15-12 marks, get 90th percentile, be confident, then build from there. That's the, that's the kind of playbook that I would strongly recommend. Right? Best wishes. Yeah.